Yet another LED night light from China. A different style, so of course I bought one. And here it is. The usual sort of Chinese but also compatible with American type plug. I think it's compatible with American. Um, so let's uh, do a wee test on this and see what sort of power it draws. It doesn't have a light sensor, it's purely a switch. So let's find an adapter. Plug it in. Ah, bright enough, cold white. Doesn't register on wattage at all. Shows 18 milliamps. Okay. The 18 milliamps is a, a reactive current. It's the, obviously got a capacitive dropper in it, which you'd kind of expect. So let's put that to the side and open it. Now there's a screw at the top. Um, oh, really? Oh, seriously, is that just a friction fit? That's not very safe, is it, really? Given that that's uh, main circuitry. I thought they'd have glued that on or latched it in some way, but it's just a press fit. That's, that's a bit rubbish. But, we've got six LEDs. Uh, that was 18 milliamps. So let's work out its wattage from that. Six LEDs at about three volts each gives 18 volts times... Did I say 18 milliamps? 0 0.018 milliamps. It should, yep. So about 0 0.3 watts. Quite low. Uh, well, apart from the fact the cover just kind of falls off when provoked slightly. Perfect for, for use in children's nurseries then. Oh, very, very typical circuitry. The mains is switched through the switch, which you'd kind of expect. The capacitor is 240 nano at 400 volts. That's quite an odd value. I was expecting something standard like 220 nano, but I suppose 240 is a standard value. 400 volts, which is good. A little bridge rectifier of discrete diodes, little tiny lots of mini diodes. I'm not sure what they're rated at. There's a one meg ohm discharge resistor across the capacitor. Little smoothing capacitor here. So the mains comes in. Um, this terminal goes straight through the rectifier. This one goes through the capacitor. Then through the rectifier. Then there's a resistor in series the LEDs. And the capacitor is connected just directly across the rectifier, which you'd kind of expect. And then there's six LEDs in series. Let's uh, doodle that. If you've followed my channel a lot, you'll, you'll kind of recognise this schematic. It's just a, basically a standard capacitive dropper. So we've got the unusual value of 240 nano. At 400 volt, we've got a one meg ohm resistor to discharge that. That's basically so you don't get a nip from the pins when you unplug it. It's going through a discrete bridge rectifier with those dinky little diodes. The other terminal is going straight to the rectifier. Um, then there's a capacitor across the output. Let's see what value that is. It's quite a small capacitor, it's not going to be anything particularly spectacular. 10 microfarad at 50 volts. Uh, which, where's the resistor? The resistor is connected to the positive output. And what value is that? It's 220 nano, uh, 220 ohm, should I say. And then it's just really one, two, three, four, five, six LEDs. Connect across the output. I suppose, technically speaking, I should just include a switch in there, because it does have a switch. But yeah, 
simple enough, but um, I have to say the fact you can just pull the cover off without any effort um, is a wee bit dodgy. I don't think I'd trust this in a children's um, nursery or anything like that because um, kids are attracted to things that light up, aren't we all? And uh, if they pull this off, it's going to expose the mains terminals really inside that. It's going to expose enough metal that they could get a shock. So um, that's a wee bit of a downside. But other than that, I suppose um, it's a pretty generic unit. It looks okay. Yeah, interesting enough. <laughs>